Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I want to share with you a haul that I have from Sephora. And it's part of the holiday sale that they had for the Sephora Insiders. And I was able to pick up some, you know, some products, just a couple. And here it is. And so, if you're interested in seeing what I was able to haul, please stay tuned. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers and guests. I hope you guys had a good day. I had a pretty good day. I've been waiting all day for this package though, and I can't wait to dive into it. And unfortunately, even though um, I placed the order um, over a week ago, the half of it is not here. Well, I wouldn't say half. I, I still have like three pallets out there that didn't ship at the same time, but I'm hoping that I got most of what I wanna show you guys. Um, so, and plus I think the other one I didn't order until late, at least one of the palettes, because it was just released, I believe the 3rd of November, and that's the Natasha Denona Tricone Palette. So that should be on its way, and I will go ahead and do a look for you guys when that shows up. But so just to give you a, a little um, insight into this sale, it is the Sephora's holiday sale. They have huge sales twice a year once in a spring and once in a holiday time. And this is where the insider members, you could just, you know, just sign up. It's free. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. And there's three different tiers. You have the regular insiders who gets the 10% discount when it's time for them to shop. I don't know if it's time for them to shop yet. It might be. And then you have the VIB who gets 15% and the Rouge members who get 20%. And I am a Rouge member, so I was able to purchase as soon as it opened up. So, you know, they don't tend to sell out as fast as some of the other sales, but you know, still, I wanted to make sure that I got what I wanted because it is, you know, just once or twice every year type of sale and I missed the spring one. So anyway, without further ado, let's get it started. So here I go, my handy dandy tool. So I hope you guys been doing really well. Um, well, here in California, it's quite cold. Um, I'm gonna tell you, it's uh, Friday night, okay? And today is the, is it the sixth or the fifth? Um, yeah, one of those. Uh, anyway, and it's been cold. We had a windstorm. It started to blow in the, um, the winter. And I think we're gonna see our first rain soon because I don't know if you're aware, those of you who's not from California or from the West Coast, is that we don't get rain from about May, to about this time of year, I guess, um, sometimes late October, and we were completely dry. I mean, we get not a drop of rain. It's not like the East Coast where, you know, sometimes like in Florida, 3 p.m., bam, you know you're gonna get rain, but we don't get that here. So we're dry for the whole summer. This is the reason why we we are such at a high risk for wildfires. Anyway, where did, where did that come from? Like you guys really are in interested, but anyway, I think I can't, oh yeah, the weather, I'm cold. It's very cold, so anyway. And let's see, this is a heavy box, a big box, and I'm hoping everything made it okay because I did see one of the um, influencers that I watch, her palette came broken. I'm like, oh, please, no, no. So anyway, it came packaged, not that great. Here it is. So it's kind of sort of thrown in here and hopefully it survived. Um, it's not just makeup. I did actually get some uh, hair care. <laughs> And this is something that I missed with the Nordstrom sale, the anniversary sale. It sold out actually on day one, but this one's not as big. That was big. I didn't realize this one was kind of small for the price. This was like $65. And that's the Olaplex. And this is actually, uh, I will read it to you. Can you see it? I know a couple of you have asked that I leave the product up a little bit longer. So that way they are able to see it. And so this actually is a holiday hair fix. And there is a repair and damage um, treatment. There is a 
shampoo and conditioner and a style system. So I guess this is a whole system. And I heard really good things about Olaplex, but I've never really used it because I use Nioxin, which I know for a fact it works and I've been using it for a while. And so, but I said, you know what, let me give it a try and see what happens. Because it says here, Olaplex Holiday Hair Fix uh, Preparation Kepel, oh, that's in French. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah. So I'll let you know how this works out. Uh, I'm eager to try it, but I can't believe $65 for this? I think the one in Nordstrom was like full, full size for $65. Hmm. Well, I didn't know that. It's okay, though. Okay, now number two. Oh, and this is one thing that I actually uh, wanted to try because I do use uh, foundation sticks. I heard great things about this. Um, so I wanted to give it a try and this is by Huda Beauty and it is in the shade um, I don't know if you can see the shade come on focus I'm probably holding it upside down like I usually do so that's that and this yeah I was holding it upside down wasn't I this is a macaroon and so hopefully this shade will work out for me and I will give you a review on all of these uh, once I start to try them on and the other thing I ordered oh the box is like falling apart here is Tatcha. I don't know if you've heard about this, but Tatcha is actually um, based on a Japanese um, ingredients and they use rice and this is the liquid silk canvas. And I don't know um, if you remember, I do use Tatcha, the um, foundation primer, and this is a actually a sample size. And so I think this may be a full size. Um, let's see how this comes. Yeah, here it is. Yep. Yeah, and so this is a primer, but this is a liquid primer. I wanted to give it a try because I really like rice products and they work. I know they work because I've had them. Um, and the problem is the ones that actually I used to use, I can't find them anymore. I mean, it's it's been a while. I mean, it's been years, but um, yeah, they don't make them anymore. Sad. Okay, now moving on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take all these out because now I think we're moving on to all palettes. Yeah. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven palettes to review with you. And I'm just not going to swatch them all because it's going to be kind of crazy. But as I use them, I will do that in the other videos. And when you see these, just let me know if you're interested in seeing a certain um, palette. And so, and like I said, I do still have the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette that's brand new and also the uh, Natasha Denona Trichrome Palette that's still out there and so I'm waiting for that to come so I'll share that with you once it's here. Okay first I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one and this is an older palette of a Nat Nat blah, 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 Natasha Denona and it is called the Metropolis Palette and this has a mixture of different colors in it I mean it has it's very um very broad and look at the container beautiful right and let's see okay and here are the colors okay as you can see it goes from one spectrum to the next there's a big mirror on it i don't want to blind you guys with it so i didn't uh do i even have it in a screen and so as you notice it goes from the darkest you know into blues and it has some taupe and browns and yellows so this is like all over the place i love it and so we'll go ahead and you know give it a try and one thing that's different about this is that this part here it's like sewn in so you you'll never lose what the color is so that's very interesting okay that's palette number one and uh, let's see, I'm gonna try to put all these back so that way I don't end up with the bunch because I keep all my boxes anyway. And so number two, Natasha Denona. This one I really wanted. And it's because I, I used the smaller mini palette uh, by Natasha Denona in this, but it only had like, I think four colors in it. And this is called the Sunrise Palette. And this has a color story that I really love. Aside from the pinks, which I love, I also like that, you know, the sunrise, the morning, the fresh, and it's just like, it's a new day. It's positivity. And, you know, I just love that. And look at the aesthetics on these. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know if you can see where it says Natasha Denona here, but it's beautiful. And let's see again, a big mirror. And as I was saying, look at the colors here. I mean, I just think it's so beautiful. 
I mean, even the yellows look pretty. I, I could probably use that in something. That's something I don't use a lot and because it doesn't look good on me, but I think I'd be able to mix it up. This is very nice. Okay. And like I said, let me know if you see a palette that you're interested in seeing the look with, and I'll be happy to do it. And now let's see. You know what? I'm going to stick with the Natasha Denona ones for now because I do have two of um, palettes that are not from Natasha Denona, right? Yeah. So the next one is the bronze palette. I really thought about this one. You know, I said, you know, do I really want it? Do I really need it? Um, and it was between this one and the gold palette. And I, I didn't like the gold palette because it has a lot of, you know, gold. And I, I don't think I look good in gold. I don't know. My husband says otherwise, but I, I don't, I'm not crazy about gold. But bronze is good. Here's the, how it looks. Again, it's so aesthetically pleasing. And let's see, oh my goodness, these colors are just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, it just, it, it's so beautiful. And um, I, the color stories in her palettes are just so unique. And the thing is, I know they're costly, I get it, but the texture and then the longevity of these are really nice. And this is why I bought the mini palettes first. And I just bought, I think I bought two, um, yeah, I bought the mini Zendo palette and then the Sunrise palette. And then I tried the formula and I fell in love with them and I said, oh my God. And then the next one I got was the Glam palette, which I probably should know because I don't like cool tones and that's a whole palette of complete cool tones. And so, yeah, but it's okay because I can use that to mix it up with other warm tones to make it nice. And another one here, which I think a lot of you are going to like, and this is my color story. I mean, this is what I'm about. It's here. It's the Natasha Denona Love Palette. And I just love, love, love the color story on this palette. And you could imagine, right, when I say Love Palette, what color uh, story it's going to be predominantly. And um, again, beautiful aesthetics. Beautiful aesthetics. I mean, beautiful pink palette. And let's see the color. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Those are just beautiful. It's got the purples and a pink and it even has red. And so, you know, it's just, yeah, it has beautiful uh, name too. First, Lifetime, Heartbeat, Transparent, Trust, heart, giving, pure love, commitment, blind. Yeah, love is blind sometimes. Uh, dream, Valentine, intense, passion, and soul. So these are very nice. I mean, I really like this color story. And you know, God, do I really need it? I have so many things for a similar color story. And I really did look everything um, up and make sure that I don't have too much of a similar color stories. Of course, I'm going to have reds and pinks everywhere, mauves, because it, that's my color story. But I mean, not in this shades. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. And also when I look at all of uh, Natasha Denona's palettes, there's no repeats. There's no, so I really like that. Okay. And this is the last Natasha Denona palette. And this is gorgeous. Okay, and this is called, is it Lala? Lila, Lila palette. And this one is her bigger palette. Um, and this is one that I could have, um, and this is one that I could have probably replaced that one with, but I don't want to because I really like the aesthetics of that. And this one is like a leather and the other ones were plastic. And let's see, and okay, yeah, and these pants are a little bit larger. And so there's a difference, the smaller or mid-size, um, the mid-size ones, like you saw the Love Palette, they're $65. And these larger, larger ones are $128 each. And so, um, but she doesn't have like a, tons of the bigger palettes, <laughs> a good thing. So this is the Lila Palette. And I'm really looking forward to doing looks with these. And I really like them. And let's see. Um, they have, yeah, the names like Per Se, Vala, Amara. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to using these and, you know, really 
enjoying it. And so, okay, that's it for Natasha Denona. I have two more palettes left. And I'm going to have to probably go through all my palettes and, you know, start to get rid of some of older ones. And they're not all that, I mean, even my oldest one is not that old because I did purge them lately. So, here's one here. I know at least one person is jumping up and down because they love Huda. Um, but here it is. And this is the Mercury Ritual Grade. And this is one, I don't have a whole lot of her. I only have one of the palette, um, larger palette by Huda Beauty. And that is the, the new nude one, right? The light nude. Um, but I don't have a lot with her. And um, I did go ahead and buy this one because it came so highly rated. Here it is. And it's called Mercury, Mercury Ritual Grade. Okay. And it's beautiful. I mean, aesthetically, it is gorgeous. Her stuff is very pretty. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my, the mirror is beautiful. I mean, even the inside is gorgeous. Look at this. Can you see the colors? I mean, these are beautiful. It goes from the, you know, the taupey colors to light blue. And what is that? More of a, uh, I don't know, turquoise, green, silver. And so I'm really looking forward to making looks with these. Um, and really, you know, changing it up because I'm sticking more towards like these colors here, the mauves and the pinks. And I really want to get to this corner here. And um, I think when uh, uh, Dana Jitten, uh, Jitten, sorry about that, uh, she challenged me to the green one. She really pulled me out of my comfort zone. So I think I want to go ahead and, you know, continue on that trajectory and do something different. And so that's that. That's by Huda Beauty. And the last one that, you know, I mean, I I was wondering, do I really want it? Do I, I mean, but I had good luck with her last palette. And so I said, you know what? I'm just going to get it. Plus this was on sale. Again, this company, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if they're trying to um, uh, get rid of anything that has um, her name on it the way it used to be. I don't know. But this is a Kat Von D vegan palette. And now the company is called KVD Vegan. And this one still has Kat Von D on it. So I, I venture to say this is her older palette. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, uh, you know, it was cheap. <laughs> and so I said, you know what, let me give it a try because I really liked their stuff. And uh, just like anything else, you know, I mean, this is not, uh, this is cardboard. It's not like really fancy, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, and... What I like about this one is it has a heart as a mirror, okay? And then the colors are kind of loud, I'm going to tell you right now. There it is. Pretty loud colors. But, you know, I want to try to work with things like this here, the dark red and things like that. And see, try it out and see what happens. And so, yeah, um, that's it. And like I said, I have two more palettes that's coming along with a couple of other things, odds and ends that I ordered. Um, but, um, I think that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the video and please, if you have any requests or comments or questions, please put them below in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them as usual. And so I hope you guys had a good day. And if I added any value at all, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit that bell button because that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So, anyway, my beautiful wildflowers, remember, don't sweat the small stuff. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.